Now let's talk about my favorite thing about the efficiency of the machine. We want to see how much energy does the Retro Neo, as an example, take during milling. And to make this a great comparison, I have this standard hair dryer here, with, which has the same um, amount of watt as the Neo spindle. Neo has a two kilowatt spindle, and this is the two kilowatt hair dryer. So we're gonna see how much energy it really takes. And to see this, I got this device, so it's basically um, bypassing um, the energy um, from my wall socket to the Neo. So I can see now I got a 150 watt just that my machine is on. Pin that on the, on the machine. We're gonna cut a little um, round pocket, just a circular pocket um, with a single fluid end mill and see how much energy it really takes. Not only the spindle, but also like all the motors and all the electrics that is in the machine. So we're running the machine now at 32,000 RPM, like I said, with an eight millimeter single flute end mill balanced at a speed of 8,000 millimeters a minute. And you can see that the spindle load goes up to around 70%, which is probably um, in the range where we would say that's like the maximum of the, the required torque. And now let's just see how much power it it really takes during this cut. We take a look at the display here. We can see it's around 1.3, 1.2, 1.3 kilowatt consumption. So it it doesn't even get close to the two kilowatt. But it's still running very dynamic and of course with a very high RPM. Now that we know what the consumption of the NEO is, 1.3, around 1.3 under um, like a full uh, machining, uh, kind of a big cut, we want to uh, see what the hair dryer needs and takes from the electricity. So NEO is off. I connect this to the device and I got, I got basically three levels of the fan. No, two levels of the fan and three levels of, of the heat. So you can blow like um, very cold or just cold, a little bit warmer and um, hot air. So let's just start with fan on um, position number one or on level one and cold. So with cold, it takes around 200 watt to take the heat up. It goes up to about 300 100 watt full heat would be around 700. If I turn up the fan now to full force, it goes up to 1.8 kilowatt. So a hair dryer, a standard hair dryer, takes more energy, has a higher consumption of energy than a Neo when it's making chips. That is actually a very big benefit when you when it, when it comes to calculations on a shop floor, how effective, how cost effective is a machine? Um, how can I calculate with the costs that I have in um, electricity? So that's a big benefit for basically on all the machines, um, depending on the size and power of the spindle.